I can say being a religious, I have many opportunities to touch the lives of people and get fulfilled personally and of course this brings a lot of peace, happiness and health. So this is the secret of my life and I suppose this is the same experience of many of my sisters. Meet Sister Aileen, the Provincial Superior for the Salesian Missionaries of Mary Immaculate, based in Bangalore, India. She has been a sister for nearly 50 years. My congregation gave me various opportunities to work among the children, to work among women, to work in the missions. So I was sent out to Andhra Pradesh, that's a different neighboring state. So I worked for nearly seven years. I came to Bilari Diocese, adjacent diocese of Andhra. Twelve years I worked. Almost 20 years I was out of my state, but I was very happy. I had the opportunity to learn different languages. I speak my mother tongue as Kannada. I learned Tamil, I learned Telugu, I learned a bit of Hindi. It's a national language of India. I can say I was happy to proclaim good news of Jesus in different languages. I wrote I spoke, I sang. Now, as the provincial superior of her community, Sister Aileen works hard, with the help of the Pontifical Mission Societies, to bring along new candidates for religious life as Salesian missionaries. We have 54 novices. We need formation because we need sisters. We need to serve our children because we want to educate them. We want to make them self-sufficient, self-dependent. We have received from the propagation of faith, we have received from the Holy Childhood, we have also St. Peter's friends. So we are happy and grateful for all that is done through us to people, to children, to the formation. Many of the novices under Sister Aileen's tutelage came to the sisters first as poverty-stricken orphans or from single-parent families, going from primary school to high school and then on to college-level studies. Along the way, some of them decide to join the sisters. But Sister Aileen herself came from a family that was not poor. Her parents did not expect that she would become a religious sister. So when I told my parents that I like to offer myself into religious life, they said, it's very strange. It is unknown to us, and you being the first daughter of the family and first granddaughter of the family, we prefer to see you married. It was not very easy. When you don't have anything, there is nothing to give, okay. But when you have everything to give away and to make a sacrifice, it is difficult. But I did it because I knew for whom for what I am doing, this sacrifice. Sister Aileen's community of more than 180 nuns covering eight central Indian states recently rededicated itself to the poorest of the poor, especially women. They call it a radical discipleship of Mary, Mother of God. For Sister Aileen, Mary's example has been her guide from the beginning of her call to become a sister. I left home 1964. I had all the trainings of the candidateship plus the novitiate. Then 1967 I was professed. So when I came to this Bangalore convent, I saw Mother Mary's beautiful statue. I was praying very much to Mother Mary to accompany me in my decision. By myself, I am weak, I am not able to do. But with the help of God and with the accompaniment of Mother Mary, following her ways, her poverty, her humility, her docility, her willingness to do God's will, that impressed me. 
I said, I want to be like her, embracing everybody, the poor, those who are in need. So I wanted to show the mercy and the compassion of Mother Mary to humanity. And I am happy till this day for having been a religious. <laughs>